What did you say? It wasn't me. Who was it? <laughs> Recently, uh, a lot of you have been asking us questions um, about us, um, about what we do, and etc. etc. So, yeah, about our caravanning lifestyle and the things we do when we're away, and um, about blogging and YouTube. So, we thought that. Um, the most popular ones that we get asked, yeah. um, we thought we'd respond. I mean, we do respond to each other. I was going to say, we, we actually respond to all of them anyway, but it's just because we keep getting asked similar questions, we thought it'd be nice just to put across. Yeah, so um, here's just a few things um, that we've answered. Um, hope you enjoy watching it. And if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments and perhaps we'll do another one of these. Absolutely. Enjoy. This question has been asked quite a few times um, and we've just sort of skipped over it, like not committing. And that is, will we be holding a rally? Uh, for those of you who uh, follow our channel, uh, will know that we tried to do a rally, a meet up. Back, back in 2020, um, we started planning it in 2019 and then obviously the pandemic hit and it all had to be cancelled. Um, but thank you to everyone who did help us in planning that, um, trying to get everything ready. Well, we say it was cancelled. We actually, although it was cancelled, we did actually go because the site very kindly took, um, you know, didn't take any bookings and just gave us the whole site. So we thought, well, we'll take it. And yeah, and mo most everyone people, turned up. Most people who had booked their pitch, they, they still went. So we did have a fantastic time. But um, at the moment, there are no plans to hold a rally. Never say never. Um, we've just got too much going on in our lives at the moment. We have. Um, but um, there's so much organisation doing a rally uh, and a meet up, and just right at the moment, we just don't feel that it's the right time for us at the moment. Yeah, I know um, Rob and Lynn um, from yeah. Rob and Lynn on tour. They've been doing an annual event, an annual get together um, for about. I think this might be the fourth year and we've never been able to get there because there's Even always been year, something going on no, we um, and they raised an incredible amount of money for Race Against Dementia. They they raised just over £20,000 last year, which was incredible. It well was. done, guys. Yeah, absolutely well done. And so sorry that we couldn't uh, make it again this year. Yes. Never say never, you never know. Yes. So if, you know, support those guys as much as you can, please. Um, but as we said, at the moment, no plans to do a rally now yet no not at the moment <laughs> <laughs> we never know we may we may turn up at someone else's rally though yeah so uh, another question uh, very common is what's our favorite campsite most memorable campsite you can start <laughs> you've sprung this on me um um honestly um it was last year i think it was last year um we went to edinburgh no am i am i mean you do it no <laughs> oh. no no I've we 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 drove up to edinburgh um, stopped halfway because it's a pretty long journey um, and we stayed in the caravan and motorhome club site in Edinburgh. Well, it is just beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. But in, with, it, with all due respects, though, we were so lucky with the weather. Well, yeah. The weather I was made it. We, we just had we the most there, unbelievable weather. We were there for a week and the sun shone every single day. And there was a minibus at the um, site. So we would get the minibus um, into the city every day. We've got a swan behind us. Oh. Hello. Hello. Oh, beautiful. Sorry, cut across you there. No change there. We would get the minibus into the city. It was only a few quid. I can't remember how much. Um, spend the day in the city and then get the minibus back again. A uh, really chatty driver, full of lots of local information. Um, and then we just sit outside in the sunshine in it our chairs. It was unbelievable. It was beautiful. We, yeah. It was just probably the, the one week that from start to finish, the sun was just yeah. blistering hot. But it, it was a beautiful, beautiful sight. And for me, possibly because of the weather as well, that's my most memorable sight. Uh, Train. Train. <laughs> Uh, I'd say for me, um, I wouldn't, I'm not saying it was my favourite campsite, but certainly for me, my most memorable campsite um, 
is Lincoln Farm Park. Now, the reason I say that, the reason I say <laughs> that is when we bought our last caravan, uh, our penultimate caravan, should we say, uh, which was our first ever twin axle, uh, we bought it, I think it was uh, 10 days, we picked it up about 10 days before lockdown, and we went to Lincoln Farm Park to, we literally picked it up from uh, Swindon Caravans, Oxford, Oxford. Caravans, Oxford Caravans, and um, we went straight from there to Lincoln Farm Park, and we just wanted to make sure everything works because it was brand new. And uh, obviously it was about, as we say, 10 days before lockdown and things were very bizarre with, with we were watching the telly and it's like, well, is this serious or should yeah. we be worried or what have you? Um, and remember the toilet so, roll? I'm so sorry, I'm getting distracted. There's a little Robin Redbreast sitting right on that tree and I just kept watching it. I'm so sorry. Yes, I was listening. Um, yes, uh, the pandemic could kind of hit. Everyone was panic buying. The supermarket shelves were do you, empty. Do you, remember, do you remember the toilet roll? We went to, we went to the, um, the reception. Camp, the reception and said, um, you know, do you sell toilet roll? They said, yes. And we said, well, you know, we'll, we'll take some. And they gave us, I think, one roll or a pack two. of two. pack of two, that's all you were allowed. Yeah. <laughs> and we, said, we, we thought, well, we need to go home, but let's stop at Tesco's along the way. And we went in and the shelves were being emptied. It, I mean, was, it, bizarre. it was just crazy. And the woman on the till, she said, I don't know what all this fuss is about. It's yeah. nothing. It's, it's probably a cold. It'll be over in a week. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. So I think for me, the most mem memorable, i say for the wrong reasons, was Lincoln Farm Park. Edinburgh for me. <laughs> Another very popular question is, are we members of um, either of the main caravan club sites, as in the Caravan and Motorhome Club, the Camping and Caravanning Club? Um, are we members of them? And would we recommend becoming a member? Yeah, uh, we are members. We were members of both when we first started um, and we really didn't use both of them to their extent. Having said that, we are members of the uh, Caravan and Motorhoming Club. Um, we, 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 we're we planning on going to Europe yeah, this well, year. Um, probably autumn time, we would like to go to northern Spain, northwest Spain. Yeah. Um, and because it's our first time travelling, we would like the reassurance of having the club um, back up. Um, yeah. when, when we go on our journey. Uh, so, I mean, we have been with them for quite a few years now. We have, um, yeah. It's always, it's just always reassuring to have the backup from them. Um, yeah, I mean, we've had, no, we've actually used them once before, didn't we, when we went away, uh, I think our first year, we went to France, yeah. um, and we weren't happy with the site, and they were unbelievably good. They yeah. were so, so good to us over the phone, uh, moved us, and no problem at yeah, all. Yeah, we so. weren't happy with the site, so they moved to a different site. Um, but also, if you are a member, um, there are many benefits and discounts that you can get from various um, there are. shops and... Um, Oh, retailers, yeah. Re retailers, yeah. I mean, if you go on their website, it will tell you um, all the um, benefits that you can get from it. Yeah. And um, I just think, as a us as a caravan, it's it's nice to be reassured that you've absolutely you, you've got the club um, behind you. Yeah. Right. Should we have another question? Okay, another question. Go. Right. Go, go, this go, go, go. one is. Do your neighbours mind you having your caravan stored on the driveway at home? No, um, no, not at all. Our caravan is stored um, by the side of our house. Um, so we've got, how do you explain it? it, it, it it's, it's not intrusive. It is, it's quite a long driveway uh, up the side of the house. Um, so the caravan goes literally right up side of the house and it doesn't protrude past the front yeah. part of the house and then we've Maybe got it's, it's like this so this is the front of the house uh driveway comes up here caravan pulls up here and ends there so it's it's not in full view of um everyone no um and nobody has complained at all on the contrary <laughs> on the contrary uh we've had a couple of a couple of our neighbours have come up and said, can we look inside it? Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, so they, they come inside and we sit down and we have a chat for about half yeah. an hour. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so much bigger than we thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're actually not taking any space up on the road or anything because um, 
we've got the car the caravan goes in first and then we got uh, one of the cars goes behind that and then the other car goes on the other side so yeah no no trouble at all and it's we find it so wonderful to be able to store at home it's not this one it's not this one sorry it's the M4 sorry yeah it's oh. Oxford oh okay I need to come off here sugar I said don't be filming until we get off this exit yeah no worries won't there listen you go. won't be told I won't be told no won't no no, told. no no so yeah that's the answer to that question uh, do we ever argue when driving? Yes, yes. She never tells me right. <laughs> you never do as you're told. <laughs> I know, I know. I... Did you sleep well, my lovely? I slept amazing. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. And that reminds me. Another question. Um, hi, Keith and Michelle. How do you find making up the bed each night? Do you find it a faff? You can start. Um, absolutely not. Um, honestly, this bed is so comfortable and it literally takes a matter of minutes um, to put it together, uh, to do the cushions and just put the sheet on, um, mattress topper and quilt. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we have a routine now. So at night, um, you know, Michelle will get herself self sorted um, in the bathroom and while she's doing that, uh, I make up the bed. It takes me, honestly, no longer than three minutes. Seriously, no longer than three minutes. Uh, is it a faff? No, not really. I know if you had a fixed bed, then obviously uh, you make the bed up once um, for your whole holiday and then you jump in it, you just tidy it up in the morning. Well, you still have to make it in the morning, don't you? Yeah. Um, I you don't know, know, do you? That's you, Well, yeah, well... I've never made I the do. bed. I <laughs> do. Um, but even uh, packing it away again um, in the morning, um, obviously we... We haven't packed away yet. Um, having a lazy morning, aren't we? <laughs> we are. Weather's not so great today. Uh, it's a bit yeah, overcast and not raining. Not sure if you can hear the rain. Yeah. Um, but, you know, packing it away again, it's honestly... Um, I'm folding up the sheets and the um, duvet um, while Keith is just rearranging the cushions and it all goes under one of the sofas and honestly it's not a problem and this bed is so comfortable. Oh it really is, <laughs> it is unbelievable. The mattress topper on, uh, that we've got you bought, is yeah. it the Silent Night? It's, it's silent so night, yeah. good. So yeah. in answer to your question, um, and it's not just one person, many, many of you said, oh, you're never gonna, you're never gonna be able to deal with it. Um, we really are, it's absolutely amazing. And it's not a faff, it's just a routine, part of and our routine. Just um, a little bit of an addendum <laughs> to that question. Not sure if you can hear the rain. No, it's just... Stung. It's sort of pattering rain. Um, I'd be curious to know who likes that sound when they're in the yeah, caravan. Is yeah. it? Do you like it or does it really annoy you? I'd be curious to can know. I, can I answer that first of all? Um, I love it, but at three, four o'clock in the morning, if, you're, if it's keeping you awake, not so much. Yeah. But I love it when you go to bed. Um, it's quite just, soothing. It is very soothing. It's soothing. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that's that one. <laughs> Another question. <laughs> Another one? Yeah. It is, what camera equipment do we use when we're out and about filming our uh, videos for YouTube? Uh, it's quite simple. We use three. We use the Samsung Galaxy uh, S23 Plus. We use the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE. And we use the GoPro Hero 10. Um, the Galaxy phones are very good. Um, the GoPro, it's good. I would never recommend the Hero 10 black, which is what we use. Um, freezes all the time. I mean, people who use GoPro will know what I'm talking about, but it freezes all the time. Can I just say something? GoPro doesn't like the dark either. Not unless you use lighting. Um, yeah. If you're just using it uh, in a nighttime setting with normal lamps and lights on, it tends to be quite blurry, yeah. uh, not good quality footage. Um, so you were just reeling off all those things. Yeah, I've got my phone, the Samsung. Yeah, S22 FE, I think yours is, or F21 I'm FE. not sure, that's his job. Um, uh, but it's great, it's really good quality, really high quality photos and videos. Yeah, I mean, the other thing with the GoPros is there's really no zoom to speak of. So, uh, I mean, where we are at the moment, there's a lot of aircraft flying. Um, 
and there's, I think it's a hurricane and a Spitfire flying, which we can hear, you can see it. There's no point in trying to show it because you're just never going to see it because you can't zoom in and out with the GoPro. So, yeah, um, yeah so that's the answer to your question. Uh, mics wise, we just use um, a couple of external lapel mics now and then. Yeah, not all the time. Not all the time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, can you hear that? I can hear it. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, another question. Uh, commonly asked from us is do we mind when people come up and say hello when we're on site? Yeah. The answer is absolutely not. We love it having a chat with you all um, when we see you on site, uh, being introduced to the entire family, all your pets as well. We absolutely love it. We Please do. Don't stop. Please. No, we do. <laughs> because although, you know, obviously you watch us, we, we don't know who you are. So it's just wonderful when you come over um, and say hi. Love it. Absolutely love it. So don't stop. There was a funny time when we went to the... Um, caravan and camping show at the NEC. Oh, in the bus. And you know, you get the shuttle bus from the car park to the actual um, venue, what do you call it? Stadium arena. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we were on the bus and the person beside us said, well, I didn't expect to be standing next to Keith and Michelle on my way into the show. Yeah. And then uh, someone else would pipe up and said, oh, yeah. hello, Keith and Michelle. Loads of people on the bus would say, hi, <laughs> hello, hello. It we was really you. funny. Yeah, so please, we don't mind at all. It's lovely meeting you all, um, hearing your caravan experiences, the journeys you've been on. So please, please keep, keep coming up and saying hello. Absolutely. <laughs>